funny thing about the past is that it's always clearer looking back on it. They say hindsight is 2020 vision, and yet, at a moment in time that we're about to see, I still don't know what I could have done differently to stop it from all spiraling out of control. Don't make any sly moves now, you hear? This here, this is a harming arrow I've loaded. One more shot, then you're done. I'm sorry, I got a bit with you there. Don't give up on your life. Or my you. I'm gonna get out of range there. Getting captured. I know. I'm really stupid. But remember, this is the first time that it's happened to me. It's not my most proud moment. But when stripped to half a heart, there's a lot more leniency when it comes to these things. Why am I even telling you this? I should be trying to look for an escape route. So. Capture they put in a 1v1 to the death, or close enough to death to satisfy the crowd. Everything is making more sense now, and this is looking really bad. I haven't had my PvP skills sharpened enough for this. How long am I going to survive? A day? A week? It looks like I'm going to have to size up my opponent- Hey. Hello. I guess we're cellmates, huh? Yep, looks like it. Where my manners, I'm Sven and this is Chase. Sadly, he lost his ability to speak when we were younger, so I keep him company. But he's still a very good listener. Nice to meet you both. And your name? Oh, um... Mithrodak. Oh, well, you seem new, Mithrodak. Do you know anything about this place? Only from stories. Ah, well, I suppose tomorrow I can give you a tour and tell you how it all works. You see, this place is run by a bunch of upper-class pigs who decided it would be fun to make people kill each other for entertainment. They usually take people with really low lives, and that keeps them from wanting to leave or attempt to escape. But aren't you going to lose lives in here anyways? I've actually lost none so far, and I've been here for two months. They will actually let you go if you reach 100 kills, you know, because 100 lives. Oh, I haven't even told you about the lives system. Oh well. You probably already know. I don't think you need me spewing exposition at you. Looks like we already have someone doing that job for us. For some, it's their only option. Like for Chase, he is on his last life. His last chance is getting that 100 kills. Jeez. Yeah, life hasn't been the most kind to either of us. I only have 30 left, and we both have about 14 wins, so we're getting close. You're too stiff. Listen that up a bit. Try it again. <sighs> okay. I'm loose. I'm loose. <laughs> you don't look it. If you're relaxed, especially in the field, you will be more in control. It'll help your decision making. So far the only decisions I've made are whether to die by my enemy's sword or by accidentally walking off a cliff as I run away. <laughs> Just keep practicing with her. There's nothing more important than- How many lives do you have? Oh, uh... I told you ours. I think I'm going to keep it a secret. For tactical reasons. <laughs> okay, but eventually you're going to have to tell us, especially if you're really low. Why are you doing this? Why am I doing what? Being friendly. You're very cordial. Aren't we supposed to hate our opponents or something? The last thing you want in a place like this is enemies, right? And I think it's a good idea to befriend new people. Is that what you're doing? Are you befriending me right now? Of course! Well... 
That doesn't seem too bad. This is when they pick someone to duel, but don't worry, you are probably safe, they hardly pick new people. Um. Axe and bow jewels. Diamond. This isn't good. What am I supposed to do? Well, ideally, kill them. Shoot, I said that out loud. I really need to focus. So, where'd you find this one? You just got a couple of lucky hits. I can't afford to stay here. Look at this place. It's a death trap disguised as entertainment. The probability of me even getting 100 kills and not losing any of my lives is way too slim. I could wait for the Creed and see if they have any people on the way. But even if they knew where I was, and decided to take their chances, would they even be able to get in here? I doubt it. So I suppose the only option is... I'm gonna have to take matters into my own hands. place made out of. It looks just like decorative blocks, but if I recall, there's a layer of obsidian inside that would stop anybody trying to escape. Altogether, that would take around 15 minutes at the very least, but there are guards patrolling in every sector. They would definitely catch me before I was able to break the obsidian, and there might be more than one layer. <sighs> I can't use diegetic thinking. I need to start from the outside and work inwards. And I don't know that much when it comes to escaping prisons. But I think I need to assess my surroundings. They made this place pretty secure, but not secure enough. There's large amounts of spruce wood in the interior. There's most likely two floors. The upper floor I can only imagine to be for the guards and the senators. There's lava pillars, but it's guarded with fences and walls. And not to mention there's a giant exit to this place right in the center. The only problem being how to scale- Mithro? 
Hmm? Are you going to eat that? Oh, no, sorry. Just a bit preoccupied. Hey, come with me. I want to show you something. What is it? <laughs> hey, what the heck? Now, you do it to me. You can never have too much training. What if we get put up against each other? Should we have some sort of signal that we're low? Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea, but we need to make the fight good, or else they won't let us both live. What will they do if we just don't fight each other? They let Ravagers loose into the pit. Oh. So how'd you end up here? Me and Chase were out hunting. We usually went out together. 
And that particular day, we thought we saw a fox, and Chase always wanted one as a pet, so we decided to go off the beaten path and look for it some more. But we were led farther out into the wilderness than we had realized, I guess, and then they got a drop on us. That's rough. What about you? Mm. I was a new recruit of the Creed, um, and I was out on one of their training missions, and I don't know. I was just jumped by a few guys beneath a low cliff. Wait, doesn't the Creed use stasis chambers? Hmm? Why didn't you just tell your headmaster to stasis you out? Uh... They want both ears. Well, this is not optimal. We need to fight, but we can't kill each other. We need to make it good enough so that the crowd lets us live, so that none of us lose any lives. But I'm not sure if I can take Sven. After all, he's only died twice. That was a good fight. It was. You know, I like this Sven guy. Should I tell him about my escape plan? Maybe we could both get out. Well, here goes nothing. You're crazy! Alright, hear me How out. on earth could we escape without losing even more lives? Just listen. We can do it calmly and methodically. We're going to need to get a few things. There's wood all over the barracks here, but the guards will notice if anything is missing or out of place. That's why we need to get wood from under other blocks. Eventually, once we gather enough, we can make an axe, a pickaxe, a trap door, and hopefully still have nine blocks left over. And now, we will need two tridents. We can get these from a trident duel. If I win, I can pick up all the gear and pretend to throw it into the lava columns. A very poor design choice. I might get punished, but I'll take it if necessary. They'll notice two tridents missing, but if they think that I burned two sets, they won't suspect a thing. And lastly, above us is where the guards and the higher-ups should have their living quarters. From what I can tell, it seems like they have their own little society in this pit. So they should have self-sustaining items, and hopefully, an enchantment table, and maybe some potions of harming. So with eight of the nine blocks, we can build up, dig through the roof, and while nobody is looking, try and enchant our tridents with Riptide. Then, all we need to do is, wait for a rainstorm, use the iron windows to get into the arena, and then we're home free. Okay, but I'll only go if Chase comes as well. Uh, yeah, sure.
We probably can't get three tridents, but as long as we maybe get a few more blocks and a pearl, then he can get out too. I'm sure they have stasis chambers up there with pearl barrels or something. Okay, but your plan is still a bit flawed. How are we going to be able to climb up the roof and break into their enchantment room and enchant two tridents without them noticing? We'd have to create a distraction. A distraction. I'll take care of that. Don't fight. I need to tell you something. If we don't fight, you know what they'll do. Look, I know you don't have that many lives left. Go crouch in a corner with your shield raised. I'll kill the Ravagers before they can break your shield. You're insane. I'm giving you the option of a free life. Make your choice. There's a storm supposed to come tomorrow. That's when we make our move. Hmm. What are you going to do when you get out? I'll probably go back to the Creed and continue where I left off. What about you? I think I'll travel somewhere secluded, out in the wilderness with Chase. It'll be peaceful, simple, and we won't have to lose any lives. Speaking of, you still never told me how many you have. Well, you'll be the first I've told, but I have 84. Wait, what? 84? How do you still have so many? Why would they even put you in here? I guess they were just misinformed. But this way, if we get spotted as we escape, I can take the brunt of the attack. Hang on, I'm still thinking about why they would capture you. And even more, why you haven't gotten out by now. Do you cherish your lives that much? Why have you stayed? Well, you see, when I was younger, I came across a blind woman. She was selling cooked pork chops on the side of the street for a bargain. And I decided I would help her out, and I could use the food. 
So I went up and bought some from her. And she was a real nice lady. We had a bit of a quaint conversation about stuff happening in the town and the weather. Quite pleasant. And as I turned to leave, she stopped me. Wait, she said. You're forgetting something. I asked her what she meant, and then she got closer. And then she drew a sword and stabbed me through the chest. I guess you could say that encounter taught me something. XOP, netherite. And the senators don't want any more horseplay. No ravager killing. Or else there will be consequences. Alright, alright. This is the worst thing that could have happened. I can't kill Chase. He won't come back if I do. But I need to give the crowd a good fight or else they'll kill both of us. I've just got to play along for a while.
Sven, I need you to make a prison.